Hey guys, how are you doing? Hi teacher. All good? Nice to see you, thank you for being early, Evelyn and Fatima. How was, how was work today? It was fine. It was good? Yeah, Tired. All right, okay, well, what do you do? Work. <laughs> All right, and uh, so so what what type of work do you do? I have a sh uh, shop. Yesterday I talked about. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Right, you're the one with the shop, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Very good. Very good. Okay. All right. What about you, uh, Vanessa? Welcome, by the way. Hi. Good evening. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm I'm glad to have you here. Uh, so how was how was work? Are you asking me? Yes. I'm unemployed. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. Maybe you know we can fix that with English. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hi. Right. All right. Well, thank you for being early. Um, what about you, Lydia? How are you? How was your day at work? Hi, good evening. Um, good evening. I work, I have an online store and I start oh, yeah. marketing. Yeah, okay, you're the one with the online store. Hey, that's that's awesome. That's actually pretty good. How is business going? Good. Is it, good. it, is it paying yeah. off? Okay, all right. Yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. All right. Uh, let's see who else we have here. Do we? Okay. Uh, David. Hello, David. Nice to see you. So, how was work, man? It was great. Super it was great. good. Super good. Hey, you. What about you? Oh, it's good, man. It's been. It's been. It's been good. Um, it's been really tiring, but going. So you're going very good so far, you know? Yeah, I know. Okay. All right. Very good, guys. So uh, welcome aboard, guys. Thank you so much. Uh, today we're going to start, guys, with uh, with the grammar uh, part. So hold on. Let me just pull out the presentation here. And let me send a message to everybody else. So, uh, what else, guys? What else have you done? Day uh, seguire. How was your day? How was your day at work? What have you done so far? What do you do today? I got the Santa Ana because I work in Santa Ana in the school. And I... Okay. Yeah, and I studied the with my other class <laughs> oh nice nice okay so how did that go yeah how how did that go how did your other class go oh okay um because i study education so i i um i received a class uh for example in the seven game and so then I received the, the class the English class okay all right all right great guys great great okay all right guys so uh, everybody go to uh, open the platform guys uh, welcome and thank you so much you guys for being early to the ones who just joined okay so um, let me pull up the presentation here and today we're gonna have a. Uh, we're gonna talk about gerunds, guys, and gerunds and and infinitives. Okay, so who's heard about gerunds and infinitives, guys? What What do you know about them? David, what do you think? Uh, what do you think about gerunds? What do you think those um, gerunds are? Gerunds or infinity? Well, gerunds. Gerunds, okay. What what do you what do you know about gerunds? So are the normal verbs? Or, okay. Uh huh. For example, 
but it's the normal rhythms. <laughs> okay, all right, all right, but okay, but verbs. I mean, like if I say run, that would be a verb, right? Yeah. All right. So, what is a gerund? I mean, if you don't know, that's okay. That's what we're, that's what we're gonna explain, right? But <laughs> but we've seen we've been seeing that already. So gerunds are the uh, for for example when you add ing at verb. Okay. All right. Awesome, guys. Okay. All right. When you add a, uh, when you add ing to a verb, very good job. Okay. So Evelyn, give me an example. What do you think? Um. An example about gerund. Yes. Talking, talking uh, walking. Okay, talking, walking, very good job. Okay, all right. Uh, Lydia, could you give me a whole sentence using gerunds? I am not sure about it. Okay, all right. it's okay, right? That's okay. Uh, if you're not sure, try it. Try it, or if you if you want to pass, go ahead and pass, and then we're gonna we're gonna explain it, okay? But I want to see you guys. Pass. You're gonna pass right now, okay? All right, sounds good. All right, I want to make sure. I want to see if you have an idea of what that is, guys. Okay? All right, that's okay. So who can give me, guys? Who can give me a whole uh, sentence using gerunds? Welcome to Advanced Module Two. In our first topic, we'll go over infinitive okay. and gerund phrases. Okay, I'm, I'm listening to the. All right, you can you can you can take a look. You can take a look. You can listen to the audio later, guys. Okay. All right. Right now, uh, we're gonna we're gonna see. I want to know if uh, you have an idea of what that is. Fatima, uh, would you mind giving me an example of a gerund? I actually gave you an example just now. So, uh, do you have any uh, idea of what a gerund would sound like in a sentence? Um, it will be. I like cooking. Okay, I like cooking. Okay, very good job. Okay, applause for you guys. Beautiful job. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, guys. So, yes, guys. So, today we're going to talk about gerunds and infinitives, but as phrases, okay? All right. So, there are phrases, guys, that we can use um, when we're talking, uh, when we're using infinitives or gerunds, right? But the first thing that you have to know is that, okay, an infinitive, okay, an infinitive is the base form of the verb preceded by two okay so two plus verb okay all right write it down in your notebook okay because i'm gonna ask you at the end okay now a gerund all right a gerund is a verb in the ing form right so it's a verb that ends in ing okay so that's a gerund all right sometimes they can be used um they can be used interchangeably but most of the times, um, I, but, but other times, you know, um, they will change meaning, the meaning to a sentence, okay? So, so far, so good. Yes? So far, so, so good. All right. So, we're not exactly going to be talking about gerunds as a whole. We're just going to talk about how to use them as phrases, okay? But it's very important that you know where we're coming from first. All right. So, infinitives, okay? So, an infinitive can be? Who can give an example of an infinitive, guys? Actually, to be is an infinitive, right? So it could be, I'll give you, I'll give you an example first. Okay, so you got, okay, you got uh, to be, to run, to cook. What else, guys? What else do you to think? Read. Okay, right, you got to, to read, write. to watch. Guys, that is- to give an example. All right, all right that, that is a strong, that is a strong, right? It's like, hey, Chucho. All right, let me let me mute you guys. Remember, if you have background noise, uh, I recommend you to mute yourselves. Okay, all right, very good. All right, so that's Che Chucho, right? Like the Fearless right now, right? Uh, okay, to watch. Okay, to watch. All right. Uh, what else, guys? What else? To see. Okay, to see. To look. To look. Very good, guys. Very yeah. good. Okay. To, to eat. dance. <laughs> All right, very good. Okay, so to dance. Uh, to eat so on and so forth right beautiful guys so these are called infinitives okay Infinitive. all right guys so now we do have okay uh, we do have this like, like a, a different form of a verb which is called gerunds okay so gerunds so we said it's uh gerunds are gerunds are what what examples can you give me regarding gerunds 
Um, running. Uh huh. Very good job. Okay, running. Ooh. Cooking. <laughs> running. <laughs> running. <laughs> cooking. <laughs> reading. Cooking. cooking. Reading. Watching. All right, hold on. It's all, all upper case, so I'm gonna change that. Okay, so yes, it is running, right? We got running. We got cooking, reading, watching. Cooking. All right, cooking. All right, mm. reading. Looking, dancing. Okay, looking. Mm. Okay, all right, all right, very good. So you get the idea, right? So those are gerunds. All right, are we good so far, guys? Yes, no? You want um, another example? It's okay. All right, if, I, okay. Quiz you, if I quiz you right now, you, are you gonna get a 10? <laughs> are you gonna get a, are you gonna get a six? All right, I think, I think that this is clear enough, okay? If you do have a question, please let me know. All right, so write them down, guys, okay? Because we're gonna focus on that. Now, guys, what is what do you think a phrase is? Now, let's talk about a phrase. What is a phrase? What do you think? I, it's a sentence, it's a... Mm -hmm. um, for example... A complete idea? Uh-huh. Okay, all right, so that is... Um... Okay, so if, if I have the word cook, is this a phrase? No. It's a word. It's a word. Okay, so how can we define a phrase? I enjoy cooking a lot. <laughs> okay, I mean, you can say, okay. But, but uh, okay, I enjoy, I enjoy cooking I enjoy a lot. Cooking a lot. Okay. A phrase is a group of words that express an idea? Uh, a group of, very good job, a group of words that express uh, an idea. <laughs> very good applause. job. Okay. Applause for Evelyn. Good job. Hey, Evelyn, nice to see you again. I nice almost to didn't see recognize you, you. I think you, you changed your, uh, you changed yes. your, your hairstyle, yes. right? All right. But I'm glad to have you here again. So, yes, guys. Okay. So, so it's a group of phrases. It's a group of words that expresses, all right, that, um, is it a group of words that expresses or that express, guys? Uh, express. Express. So is this a person, a group of words? Group of words that express. Uh, that express an idea. All right, no, guys, okay, because of these right here, it's, uh, it's, it's not third person. No. <laughs> so, but uh, good job, guys, okay? So this is absolutely correct, okay? It's a group of words that express, um, that expresses, actually, never mind, that expresses an idea, okay? All right. Very good, guys. So that is a phrase. So now we're going to talk about infinitive phrases and gerund phrases, okay? Now that we know what the meaning of both of them are, okay? All right, so who'd like to, uh, somebody help me read the first, um, the first um, structure that we got here, All right? So who'd like to help me read that? Five, four, three, two, Fatima, let's go, Fatima. <laughs> me? Yes. Fatima, okay. camp. Oh, well, actually, some. Yeah, there's another Fatima. Fatima Ramirez, let's go. <laughs> okay. It plus B plus adjective or noun plus infinity phrases is often used to comment on behavior. These sentences can also be restated with germ phrases. Okay. Very good job, guys. So these are, uh, these are phrases that we use to comment on on what? To comment on? Behavior. To comment on behavior, guys, okay? Behavior. All right, very good, guys, very good, okay? All right, so uh, let's start with the first example and then we'll go into the, um, the structure, okay? So what is the first example that you see here? Let's go, Miguel Angel Boleño. All right. It is rude to ignore your conversation partner. Okay, very good job. Okay, so where do you where do you find guys? Where did you find the, the is this is this a gerund or is this an infinitive? Infinitive. Infinitive. Very good job. Okay, where can you identify the infinitive? To and the verb. Okay, all right. And what is the the verb that we're we're getting here? Ignore. Ignore. Very good job. Okay. So now, uh, what is the whole uh, what is the whole infinitive phrase that you can find here? 
It's rude to ignore. It's rude to ignore. Very good. A plus for Evelyn, guys. And uh, thank you very much, Miguel Angel. I mean, Miguel, yeah, Miguel Angel, right? All right, very good. Okay, all right. So what about the second example? Okay, so let's see. Um, Vanessa Alvarenga, let's go. Help me read the second example. Um, it's a good idea to try out different topics. Very good job. So it's a good idea to try out different topics. Okay. Infinitive or gerund? Infinitive. Okay. It is, infinitive. It is an infinitive. Okay. All right. Uh, what is infinitive that you see here? To try. To try. Okay. And what is the whole phrase? What, what is the whole infinitive phrase? It's a good idea to try out. Okay, it's a good idea to try out, right? Can we can we can we have more examples regarding that? Can we only use it's rude to ignore? It's a good it's a good idea to, or do you think that we have um, more infinite phrases that we can use? It's a good idea to learn another language. Okay, all right, very good. Okay, you can use a different infinitive, right? But mm -hmm. you can also say it's not a good idea. All right, uh, or you could say it would be rude to, okay? So you can use it with different, uh, with different scenarios, guys, okay? All right, it's not, it's not only like rude, um, either you're gonna use it's rude or it's a good idea, right? You can, you can have um, multiple scenarios there, okay? All right, very good. Okay, so um, let's see, all right, Thomas Machado. Hello, sir, how are you doing? All right, Thomas, um, give me an example, okay? Let's try to change the verb of the idea here, okay? Remember that the whole thing is to comment on a behavior, okay? So uh, let's uh, give, give me, try to give me a different example using a different... Um, it's a good idea to learn how to cook if you want to have your own restaurant. Very good job, okay? So it's a good idea to learn how to cook if you own or if you don't own your own restaurant. Very good, okay? One clap, guys. Let's kill that mosquito. Very good job, <laughs> all right? Okay, very good, all right. Uh, let's see. Fatima Campos. All right, Fatima Campos, try, um, give me another example. Okay. Um, people want to learn English to have better jobs opportunity. To have, okay, to have to have better job opportunities, right? Not, jobs. not, not jobs opportunity, job okay. opportunities. All right, very good. Okay, that's a good example. Another another uh, mosquito kill. Good job. All right, guys, beautiful. Okay, so who'd like to give me a different example, guys? It is difficult to come up with an example. Okay, it is difficult to come up with an example. <laughs> All right, yeah, that's another that's another infinity phrase, okay? All right, good job. Uh, Armando, give me another one. Armando, Armando, Armando answers. Give me another one. Free flying books is good, is good for mental health. Okay, I'm sorry, what is good for mental health? Could, uh, could you repeat your example? Readings. What? Okay, could you could you repeat your example? Reading science books is good for mental health. Okay, very good. Uh, I understood reading, and then I'm not sure if you said styling books or something like that is good for your mental health. All right, that is a good phrase, but I didn't understand uh, that, that word exactly, but... Um, the structure is good, guys, okay? All right, guys, so do my favor, guys. Everybody send me, go to the chat room, okay? And I want you to send me one example, guys, without mistakes of an infinitive um, phrase, okay? An infinitive phrase, guys, um, related. You can use the example that we got here. You can say, you can say it's, it, it is rude too and use a different verb. Or you can come up with your own example, okay? So everybody, do me a favor. As I'm asking everybody, send me your own example right now, okay? Right, you can say, it is rude to interrupt people all right, while they're speaking, okay? All right, so that's my example, okay? 
All right, good job. I have to study for the test. Now, I have to study for the test, David. Um, no, no, it's incorrect. <laughs> but I want you to explain. But, but, okay, but let me ask you something. If I say I have to study, okay, uh, would that be, I mean, it is not incorrect grammatically, but remember you're using it as a phrase, right? And the whole thing about this is that you have, you're commenting on a certain behavior. So if I say I have to study for the test, I mean, yeah, you're using an infinity for sure, but I want you to make it a phrase. All right. Okay. okay. It, it usually starts guys. Okay. Remember the structure guys, if you want to have an idea, the structure is right here. See? So it plus the verb okay. to be plus an adjective plus, you know, the infinitive phrase, whatever, whatever infinitive you want to use. Okay. Okay. So you can say it is, or uh, you can say it is awesome to um, to talk to you. Okay, it's awesome to talk to you. All right. Uh, it is um, it is great, or you can say it is. Um, I don't know. It is um, it is hard to study maths. Okay, it is hard to study maths uh, because not everyone is good at it, okay? All right, so keep, keep sending those examples, guys, okay? All right, um, it's interesting to find new novels to read. Very good, Miguel. Uh, Jonathan, it is advisable to create a plan. Okay, that is good. It's a good option to prepare your own food. That's good. It's important to know about different countries' customs. Okay. All right. Uh, it's a good idea to freeze left food. Now, it's a good idea. That's that's good. Okay. It's a good idea to freeze left food. Is incorrect. Okay. Um, you want to say like raw food? Maybe. I'm I'm not sure what you want to say with left food. Comida sobrante. Okay, leftovers. Repeat the leftovers. Leftovers. Right. leftovers. Leftovers, okay? Okay. All right. All right. So, leftovers. Um, Jonathan, it is awesome to talk to you. It is hard to study math. Well, that's, okay, that's my, isn't that my example? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, it's, it's a bad idea to eat junk food. Okay. Very good job. It's a good idea to prepare to, I mean, to practice English, okay? Uh, English is uppercase because it's a proper noun. Um, it's amazing to know new places to visit. Very good. It's necessary to work out every day. Very good job. Very good, guys. Okay, so far, so good. All right, very good, guys. Uh, wow, you, you all got it. Very good. All right, um, Ellie. Hello, Ellie. I don't see your example here. Ellie, give me an example, Ellie. Pay attention when it's to be focused in the topic. I'm sorry, what? To I, pay attention when it's to be focused in the topic. Okay, all right. Okay, all right. Now, remember, you have to follow the structure that we have here, okay? So, it plus the verb be plus an adjective or noun, okay? All right, um, let's see, Idalia. Hello, Idalia, welcome back. Um, Idalia, could you, give, could you share your example? Hi. Yes. Okay, all right. Okay, give me your example then. I wrote, it's amazing to know new places to visit. Okay, it is amazing to know new places to visit. Very good job, okay, I like that example. That is very good, okay? All right, guys, do we have a question regarding this part so far? Question, 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 all right. No. Very good, guys, very good, okay? Okay, so um, so we're gonna continue, guys, uh, with the second part over here, okay? We're still gonna be talking about uh, infinities. So, um, let's see. Daisy, all right, Daisy, do me a favor and help me read 
All right, help me read this um, this explanation here. All right, Daisy. All right, Daisy might not be. All right, Jonathan, Jonathan Monte de Rosa. All right, help me read, Jonathan. Uh, the word considerate may also follow B in this kind of sentences. Okay, very good. The word considered may also follow B in this kind of sentence, okay? Now, all right, so when you use the word consider, guys, okay, you can use it. In the, in the previous example, guys, we noticed that the structure here was it, it plus the verb B, right? But in this case, guys, okay, instead of the verb B, you can use consider. Got it? So it is the same thing, but the only thing is that we're substituting B with consider, okay? So... Now, uh, do we, what do we call this, impolite? What, what is that in grammar, guys? What is that in grammar? Take a look, take a look at, um, take a look at this, all right? Take a look at this and tell me what is that in grammar? An adjective. All right, very good, right? It would be an adjective, right? So. All right, so the structure is it plus uh, the verb be, right, plus the word consider, all right, an adjective, and then you got the infinitive phrase, okay? All right, so uh, who can give me an example with it's considered? Let's go, David, hit on, all right? Give me an example with it's considered. It's considered... Hmm. Let me think. It's considered. Remember, you need an adjective yeah. after that, right? Another adjective, or the same in polite. No, no, no. Okay, use it's considered. I didn't understand. All right. Okay, it's okay. So you're gonna use this, okay? You're gonna use it's, it's con considered. It's considered. Plus an adjective. Uh, okay, an adjective or, right? All right, you can use a noun and, um, and an infinite phrase. Okay, all right, plus a compliment. All right. So it's, considered, it's considered rude to ask a woman's age. Very good job, okay. Is it, is it rude though? But good job, plus for Evelyn, guys. Good job. Is it rude? Is it is it really rude? Nah. No. Nah, it's not. Okay, all right. How old are you? Ah, just kidding. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna ask. <laughs> all right. Uh, very good, Evelyn. Okay, so David, all right, give me an example. Uh, okay. It's considered rude to look at the eyes of another person. Okay, very good. Okay. Uh, it's considered rude yeah, to yeah. look into the eyes of another person. Okay. All right. Very good. All right, but let's not use root, guys. Let's use another example. All right. Um, Vanessa, all right. Uh, can you please give me another example? Um, it's considered, um, I don't know. I'm falling asleep. I'm sorry. Okay, right. Uh, do, you, do you know what adjectives are? I guess. All right. I'm running out of ideas right now. I'm sorry. All right. Think about an adjective. Talk about Cheyenne. What do you think about Cheyenne? He's ugly. Okay. You think that he's he ugly? Okay. <laughs> okay. Right. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. It is possible, guys. Okay. You can say, okay, uh, Cheyenne, Cheyenne is considered um, ugly, right? But that wouldn't be, guys, uh, an infinitive phrase, okay? All right. So think about, think about a, a different adjective then, okay? So maybe rude, maybe um, maybe smart. I don't know, think about a different adjective. Your blood pressure is considered acceptable. Very good job, okay, it's considered acceptable. Very good job, okay, all right. Or you can say it's considered, all right, it's considered. Now acceptable wouldn't be right here, guys, okay, because we have to use a certain type of adjective. All right, uh, but you can say it's considered um, it's considered correct, right? It's considered correct to 
um, to follow your teacher's instructions. All right, so you can say something like that. Okay, are we are we good, guys? Are we good? Okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. Yes. Okay. All right, guys, so the last part, okay, who'd like to help me read the last part? Over here. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Idalia. All right, let's go, Idalia. Okay, these sentences can also include the phrase for plus person or pronoun. Okay, all right, for or a person or pronoun, right? So guys, this changes the structure. That's pretty much it, right? So the first example, help me read the first example, Lydia. Is, I don't know how to say that word. Customary. Customary. It's customary for the complimenter to say nice things about others. Okay, all right. What do you notice that is different than the other phrases that we got above, guys? What do you, what do you see that is different here? The, the word for? The word for, very good job, okay? So after, guys, you can say it is... Uh, it is rude. You can you can you could say, for example, it's rude, right? You could say it's rude for now this the complimenter, is that a, is that an adjective or is that a noun? Noun. That is a noun. Very good job. It is it is rude for guys. All right. What other uh, what type of compliment you can you give me uh, uh, for this um, for this uh, example? It's rude for guys. To whistle at women in the street. Okay, very good. Okay, to whistle. Okay, at women. Okay, in the street, right? Very good job. Applause for Miguel, guys. Good job, Miguel. There you go, man. All right, guys. Any questions so far? Question, question, question. All right, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so let's see what the other. Um, okay, so um, so we're gonna get to the infinity part, guys. Sorry about that. So uh, we're gonna get to the infinity part, but before that, guys. Okay, you can actually use the same um, the same scenarios, guys, to talk about, uh, to, but using um, gerunds instead. Okay, so the first rule that you see here, guys. Okay, remember what was the what was the infinity that we were using here. On the first example that we got here, um, in the first example that we, that we got here, guys, what was what was the the infinity that we were using? E plus two b, or okay. e plus b. Okay, remember the the infinity that would be to uh, to ignore, right? That is oh, the okay. first the first one that the first um um. The first infinity that we were using in the first example okay all oh, right okay. guys so what happens guys what happens if you try to convert okay the convert this whole sentence into a gerund okay now what, what do you notice that that uh what do you notice that happens what can you infer now what happened what happened the to the first came to change switch the very good job. Okay. With, uh -huh. okay, all right. <laughs> all right, the verb changes position, right? Yeah. So guys, we got we got pretty much the same thing here. Okay. So in this case, guys, we're gonna use all right and write down this this phrase, guys. Um you should be taking notes, guys, okay, so you don't fall asleep. <laughs> all right. So you can say and uh you can use a gerund plus what is your conversation partner? What is that? All right, that is that is an out, guys. Okay, all right. And then you, uh, do we still use the verb be? Do you still see it here? No. Are yes. you sure? Yes, yes. guys. Okay. Yes. All right. 
Very good. Okay, so use B, right? The verb B, and then the we use the we use the adjective, right? Very good job. Okay, good, good, good job. All right. So, uh, so we transform it, guys. Now, does it mean the same? If I say ignoring your conversation partner is rude, does it mean the same? Then saying yes. it's rude to ignore yeah. your conversation partner. Yeah, it does. It yeah, is. Of course, yeah. right? Of course, yes, okay. A different way of saying it. It's just a different way of saying it. Very good, okay. All right, now, what about the second example? Uh, when we're talking about, you know, uh, when we say it's a good idea to try out different topics. What about that example? All right, does it mean the same? Do you, do you think that trying out different topics is a good idea? Does it, do you think that that uh, means the same as saying uh, it's a good idea to try out different topics? Yep, it's the... Very same idea. Just that is the very same idea, right? Way. All right. Just in a different way. Very good job. All right. Beautiful, guys. So do my favor. Everybody send me an example. I'm going to keep asking you for examples right now. Send me an example of the um, using, using this structure, okay? All right. Let's use this structure. And you can base your examples on the, uh, the other two examples, the, the, the examples that we got here, okay? All right. Meanwhile, um, let's see. Let's see who has not participated. Uh, Fatima Ramirez, you have participated, I know, but <laughs> all right, yeah. all right, Fatima. Okay, all right, give me, give me your example, Fatima. You can use, you can use the verbs that we got there, but change, change the idea. Okay. Um... Mm -hmm. Reading books. Um, help to distract our mind. Okay, okay, okay. You can say reading books help me, right? Get distracted. Okay, all okay. right. Now this is this is grammatically correct. All right, but uh, let's do something. Okay, let's use the structure. Let's use the structure that that we have here. Okay, so you can say reading books. Remember, we're gonna ha we're gonna we're gonna comment on something, right? Okay. All right. Uh, we're gonna comment, uh, uh, and to make a comment, you have to use the verb be, right? So reading books. What are we missing here? Help me. What are we missing here? Reading books. Is. Reading books is very good. Reading books is what. Important. Very good. Okay, so reading books is important. Good job. Plus for Fatima Ramirez, guys. Beautiful, Fatima. High five to you. Thank you. Beautiful. Fatima, what's your favorite color? Green. Green. Very good job. Okay. Um, da, 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 da. Uh, Thomas Machado. Do you have green, green. eyes? Do you have green eyes? <laughs> okay. Uh. All right, beautiful. All right, yeah. so give me another example, Thomas. Um, like in my case, it will be uh, reading, uh, cooking, uh, magazines, and watching uh, video conference will make me learn a little bit more about I don't know, cooking skills? I don't know. I'm a little confused right now. All right, that's okay. That's okay. Being confused is good. All right. So um, what I want you to use is this example that we got here, okay? Uh, this, this, um, this structure that okay. we have here. Can you see the structure? Mm -hmm. All right, very good. Okay, so let's go try it. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. All right, meanwhile, let's read the examples that you're sending me. Okay. Reading each is, uh, is good for your brain. Okay, very good. Eating healthy is your best option. Good job, Lydia. Uh, Miguel reading Shakespeare comedies is oftentimes confusing. Very good. 
understanding Shakespearean. Uh, working is out is a good way to working out. It's okay. good for your health. Okay, working working out is good for your health. Okay, all right, very good. Okay, so uh, so you can say like this: working out is good for your health. All right. Uh, what else, guys? What else? Who wants to give another example? Watching movies all day is a good idea. Okay, all right. Watching <laughs> watching movies all day is a good idea. Very good job, guys. Very good job. All right. Good job, all right? So now, uh, the same thing applies for the other examples, guys, okay? So we can use them with, uh, um, with the word considered, right? So it is exactly the same thing here. If we use... Um, if we use for, right. Now, if we use for, guys, it is exactly the same thing too, right? So let's use let's use an example with for. Who can give me an example with for? Fatima Campos. You want to try? Okay. Um, just let me think. Okay. Okay. Um. It will be with ing. Okay. Okay, so uh, cooking is a good idea for, it's a good hobby for all people. Okay, all right. So you said, you said that, uh, what is a good idea for, for all people? Cooking. You said cooking. Okay, cooking, okay. Cooking it's is a good hobby. A good hobby. Uh huh. For all people. For old. All right. All right. Pronunciation. Remember old. They use that. Old. That sound in the end. Okay. All right. For for old people. Very good job. Okay. Beautiful. And plus for Fatima, guys. Good job, Fatima. Beautiful, guys. All right, guys. So keep sending me examples, guys. Uh, watching movies all day is a good idea. Reading books is for two for now. Fatima Ramirez, you said reading books is important for distracted. When you use for like that, if you're not going to use a noun, distracted, guys, is distracted a noun? What do you think? If the word distracted, guys, is it a noun? It's a bear. All right. It's a bear. Okay, very good. Okay, so if you want to transform it, guys, you have to say, okay, if you want to do it like that, you have to say reading. Reading books is important for getting distracted right and use the uh for getting distracted for getting your mind okay for getting your mind distracted see um when you where you're gonna use a uh when you're gonna use a verb guys preceded by by four by the preposition for it has to be in ing form okay all right, thinking without without to use Google searching is hard. Now, Ellie, thinking without to use, okay, you're using you're you're using an infinitive there, all right? Uh, thinking without using, all right, the gerund is using, not not to use, okay? But good job. Uh, going out on Sunday is a good idea for uh, for the family. Okay, that is good. That is good, Italia. All right, guys, do you have any question for me? Question, question, question. Mm. No. No, no, no. Okay, you good? Okay, so we're gonna. So let me continue with the presentation, okay? All right, guys. So, um, so regarding gerunds and infinity, guys. Okay, what can we say? What, 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 what can we associate them with? What do we? What do? First of all, what do they have in common? What do you think that that gerunds and infinitives have in common? Uh -huh. um, like I said, we are uh, describing the same the same idea, but using different way. Okay, all right. They used to describe it. Okay, all right. <laughs> all right, don't don't draw, guys. Okay, all right, guys. So yes, uh, both of them, are, both of them, guys, uh, are verbs, right? So just in different forms. Okay, 
Very good job. Same same subject, different way of saying it. Okay, right, different way of saying it. Okay, all right. Um, help me read the uh, day seguir. Okay, help me read this part over here. Hi, teacher. I'm sorry because I have very problem uh, with my computer, and okay. I can active the the camera and so sorry. But I read, um, so gerunds and infinitive, about yes. verbals. Verbals okay. are the word formed from verbs, but functioning as different part of a speech and mouth. Okay, very good job, okay? All right, so that's alien language, guys, right now, but we're gonna see examples, okay? All right, so remember, that those are actually usually a noun, guys, okay? All right, um, so, this we already saw, guys. Okay, so uh, let's take a look at the. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to stop here. Okay, so let's uh, let's take a look at here, guys. Okay, all right. So sometimes, guys, um, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Uh, could you think of a, of an example, guys, that um, were a verb, an infinitive, or as a gerund, works as a noun? Let me give it, let me give an example, guys. Okay, if I say, you know, um, I like to read. Okay, let's break this down. Where do you have, uh, you know what? Let's say uh, Cheyenne. Okay, Cheyenne likes, right? Cheyenne likes to read. What is Cheyenne in this in the sentence structure, guys? This subject. Okay, so it is the subject, but actually this is, this is a noun, right? A noun, yeah, a noun. Very good, okay. What is this? What is likes? A verb. Okay, this is a verb, okay. All right, and then we have what? Another verb. Okay, you have another verb, good job. Now, what this is saying, guys, is that instead of being a verb, when we use infinitives and gerunds, they become a noun, usually, all right? So okay. if I say, if I say swimming is, uh, swimming is good. Let's break this down. What is swimming in this case? Does it function as a verb? It's always a verb, yes, but in, this, in, the, in the sentence structure, guys, swimming is what here? Okay, it's no. a... Noun. This would be a noun, <laughs> right? And then we have, okay, we got a verb here, which is gonna be the verb be, okay? All right, and then we have good, what is good? Okay, we have we have an adjective, right? All right, yes? Yes, yes, yes? Very good, okay? All right, if I say to swim, if I say to swim is hard, all right, let's break this down. So what is to swim? What is that in the grammar structure? It's a verb. Okay, that is a verb, okay. Good job, all right. And what is, uh, what, what, what follows after that? All right, uh, oh, Jonathan, what follows after that? Uh, another verb is the verb to be. The verb to be, all right? And then we have? An adjective. Adjective. Okay, we have another adjective, okay? All right, so to answer your question, so, so to answer this question, guys, okay, um, when you do, when you use it like this, guys, so when you use it as, as, as we were using it before, it becomes another type of, um, um, it becomes another type of, of, um, of speech, guys, in grammar, okay? So in this case, it becomes a noun, okay? So far, is it good? So far, is it good. Any questions? No, so no far, questions. No questions. Okay, right. So let's take a look, guys. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna send you guys. Uh, I'm gonna send you this over to the WhatsApp group. And what I want you to do, guys, is take a um, read it, and um, you're gonna identify. You're gonna you're gonna talk. Basically, I want you to talk with your partner about um, the gerunds phrases or the infinitive uh, phrases that you got in here. Got it? 
Got it, got it, got it? All right, Peter. Got it. All right, so let me send that right now. All right, so we're going to finish and uh, we're going to do that for five minutes, guys. And then um, we're going to continue. All right, so let's take a look at your WhatsApp group and you'll find you'll find information there, okay? All right, guys, let's make the breakout rooms and let's practice. Hello, Fatima Ramirez. <laughs> you were supposed you're supposed to be with someone else here. Hold on, I'm gonna get you uh, into another room, okay? All right, let's go. Oh well. All right, guys, did you get the message? Yeah, it's but good. I don't seem to be in the group. <laughs> Oh, okay. Uh, okay, right. Let's do something about it. I'm going to send you the the links group here in the chat room, okay? Let's try to find a way to do that. Uh, yeah, okay. It's it's just I can't. I don't, I'm not an admin, you know, for the group. Um, but how can we do this? You can... Uh, I'm trying to copy the link. <laughs> Yeah, but put the space somewhere in the middle. Usually that before the dot com usually or Oh oh okay. That's a uh, simple trick to Okay, hold on. <laughs> Man. I don't know if I have to be on my cell phone because I'm doing it from the computer, but I'll try to I try it from the cell phone. Hold on. What did you do? <laughs> it's not in the group. That's that's. But you should have gotten. Uh, didn't you get? Didn't you get an email with the link? If, you know, with the link. Um, I forgot to check my email. All right, check that's your email, please, because because it should be there. I okay. don't seem to have any way to send you the link from here. I'll check my email right that way. <laughs> okay, all right. Let's check. I'm sorry, because I'm not an admin. I would just send you, you know, the invitation, <laughs> but I'm not an admin. Let's see. <laughs> Come on, me. <laughs> you haven't checked your email. All right, very good. Okay, so let's let's practice. I had to check it, but I checked it like two days ago, and usually oh, it's okay. every three days. All right, sounds good, man. Sounds good. Don't worry about that. So how are you feeling, guys? Is was it understandable? Did you understand the the, the topic? Yeah. Sure. All right. I actually did understand it more. I had an idea, but I sort of have forgotten most of it. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Hey, that's good, man. I'm glad. Okay. Any questions? Let me know. Okay. Okay. Thanks. All right. Thanks. Hello, yep. Canada. We right. can't read this. Oh, is it too small? No, the words, but I don't understand. The font is, you, you mean the font is too small? It's very difficult to read it. But why? Because yeah. is it too small? That's what, that's what I'm asking, if it is too small. Yeah, maybe. Okay. I, I don't understand why, why we need to do, um, why we need to do here. Were, were you, were you, were we you need to identify if it's gerunds or infinitive if I am in the conversation yeah. before. Exactly. But the exactly. people, I don't know what it is. I say because it doesn't see anything. Because the font what... is very small. All right, so the first one, okay, I'll, I'll tap in here. I'll tap in here, okay? It's, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't know that you were not going to be able to see it. Can you read it? If if you can read it, I can take a note. 
I'll, I'll tap it here. But yeah, it's a good idea to try out different, right? No, we, we can read it because we we can read. Oh, but no, Lydia says that she can't she can't read it. So I'm I'm just trying to tap in here so so you guys can read it. All right. So out of out of the out of the conversation that you got there, all I want you to do is to identify that. But I think uh, Lydia can read it because it's too small. Yeah. Right. Um. So sorry about that, Lydia. Let me try to send the the first one here. So how are you feeling, girl? Did you did you get the topic? Yeah, I get it. Okay. I was confused, but I understand all. Okay, all right, that's good. That's good. To get a conversation. All right, so that is the first part. How oh, to get a conversation going? I'm sorry, to get a conversation going and the conversation. Conversation started. Right. Uh, yeah. Just, just that. Okay. All right. Uh, so that is that is the first one. Okay. We don't. We're not gonna have time to do them all, guys. Okay. Um, try to. I don't know if you can zoom it in so so it becomes bigger, because uh, uh, I would recommend you know just practicing that practicing it at um, at home. Okay. Okay. All right. We do have to. We have to. We have to go back now, guys. Okay. Um, so excuse me. Um, teacher. Tell me. I want to ask. Tell me. Hello. I'm here. I'm listening. Uh, I want to ask. Uh, I have been trying to to do this exercise on the platform, and I'm an almost sure I'm on the I'm right, but it's so weird. It's so it's bored. really it's really really hard to understand you, Ellie, yeah. because uh, the 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 sound. Your microphone, it sounds, I don't know, it sounds weird. It sounds like you're in one of those old phones, you know? <laughs> um, I, okay, I'm going to write you right here. I'm gonna okay, you but let, do me a favor, okay? Um, if you want, send me, send, me the, send me what you want to ask me on the WhatsApp group because I get another okay. class incoming, okay? I have another class, so we have to go back right now, okay? But yeah, send me, the, send me your question over the, the what WhatsApp, are your number? Your WhatsApp group, okay? I don't know what it is. I don't know what is your number from. Uh, are you not in the are, are you not uh, in the WhatsApp group? Yeah, I am, but I don't know who are you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, I sent you the my phone number in the chat room, okay? Okay. okay thank you so much. All right, beautiful, beautiful. All right, let's go back. Okay. All right. Nice. All right, guys, welcome back, okay? Um, sorry if the font was too small, guys. All right, so we're going to continue tomorrow, guys, and I have another class incoming. Uh, do me a favor, guys. Uh, please finish. Please finish um, exercise 1.2, okay? So by tomorrow, we're going we're gonna to review this together, but before the class starts, I need you to have finished uh, this, okay? All good, guys? All right, uh, Vanessa, I know that you're falling asleep. So. Got it. All right, go rest, okay? Have uh, have a good rest, guys, okay? Uh, nice having you here. And um, I'll see you tomorrow, guys, okay? It was nice seeing okay. you. See you tomorrow. Right, have a good night. Take care, guys. Take care. Take care.